you know, I never thought at my age I'd be representing the country in anything. So uh, to me, this is a privilege and uh, very flattering for me. So. The World Short Mat Bowling Championships is taking place in Belfast, Ireland, March 12th to the 19th. Members from the Burlington Lawn Bowling Club make up more than a quarter of the Canadian team. Short Mat is played indoors on a mat that has half the distance of its outdoor counterpart and a block of wood at the halfway point. Well, they put the block there so people just can't fire the bowl down, because then it would just be a... Um, shooting shooting gallery game so the block is there forces you to play wide and you have to curve the bowl around the block to get in so you have to play the bias or the draw on the bowl and it's and it's tricky it's if you're if you're off a few inches either way you're you're not going to be successful so you have to you have to be concentrate very hard on hitting your point of aim at the right speed while short mat seems to be more of a sport for seniors in Canada, that isn't the case in Europe. Fred Gundel recalls a game in the last championships he attended. The teenage girl, I'm pretty sure she was from Norway, uh, but beside a guy who's probably my age, you know, gray hair and everything, standing right beside her, they were watching the, you know, the play in front of them. And that just shows you that any age group can be in there. The sport has slowly gained popularity in Canada over the last decade. Is it, It's growing and everything. We got have more clubs joining every year and um, so it, it's building. Considering it's been there for over 50 years, here for only about 10, and what we're competing against, well let's put it this way, in Canada we have roughly 250 registered members. Ireland has 33,000. They play all year long. They have professional coaches. They have facilities just devoted to the sport. They do have certain advantages over us. Last year, we went to uh, Aberdeen, Scotland, and it was my first time entering the World Championships, and I didn't win one single game. So this year, uh, I'm going to aim to win the first game, and hopefully that'll work out. Then I'll aim to win the second game, and we'll just keep on going. While everyone's excited to head to Ireland, Peter is really looking forward to it. We're going to be there on St. Patrick's Day. I think there might be a party or two. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to the social, meeting new people. I mean, we're in tough competitive-wise, but we're still going to have fun. For Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.